The three main vaccines we're going to be talking about today are the ones that are approved in the United States um, through the FDA, and that's going to be the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine both work very similarly, and that's going to be through a process called mRNA or messenger RNA. Essentially, messenger RNA is a genetic blueprint that tells your cells how to produce certain proteins. What people much smarter than me have decided uh, or were able to do during their vaccine trials was to find the proteins on the outside of the coronavirus that um, help to um, infect individuals and they were called spike proteins and they sequenced these genetically and were able to find um, that they could boil down to what was actually the code for these spike proteins and they um, made a molecule that essentially can be used to build these proteins in your own bloodstream. They coated this molecule called messenger RNA in essentially a truck that carries the messenger RNA, but it's called a nanolipoprotein. And they inject it directly into your muscles. And essentially what it does is it tells cells to build the protein that the virus has on the outside of it. Once your body experiences this protein, your immune system reacts to it as foreign and it doesn't like it. And so it produces an immune response that ultimately leads to the creation of something called antibodies. And I explain antibodies like they're basically heat seeking missiles in your bloodstream that help to bind on to foreign things, um, bacteria and funguses and viruses, and they help to neutralize it and your, they help your immune system eliminate those things from your bloodstream and from your tissues. And so your own cells are now producing this viral protein that then um, your immune system will respond to creating antibodies and stimulating an immune response that will essentially protect you um, from the getting coronavirus yourself because you're producing the proteins, your immune system then responds to those proteins by producing its effective protective response. And then that would protect you against a future infection because it it's like your body's already had that infection. The other vaccine that we haven't talked about, which is the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, it works through a similar method from a standpoint of it also, they also have engineered the messenger RNA to build these same viral proteins in your own blood stream that your immune system responds to, but they use a different carrier method, so a different truck, so to speak. And that truck uh, is a, something called an adenovirus, but it's a, it's a viral inact an inactivated virus that um, essentially just acts to carry the um, messenger RNA into the cell and then uh, is broken down by your body and disappears immediately afterwards. So although the process and the actual how the vaccine works is very similar, the carrier mechanism is a little different. And that's why also that the Johnson Johnson vaccine doesn't have to be preserved like some of the other ones do as far as at certain temperatures. The Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine are also two injections spaced out by a certain amount of time and the Johnson and Johnson vaccine vaccine is only one, so that's also something to keep in mind. I'm going to compare this to kind of what happens with the flu shot. So the flu shot every year, um, we, we immunize, but we're essentially making guesses at what is going to best protect people as far as what are the proteins we need to protect against for different viruses. And so every year we recommend the flu shot to help to, over time, give you enough immunity where you're going to be protected from a lot of the um, different types of flus. And the problem also with flus is something we're seeing with the coronavirus, which is over time the virus does seem to mutate. And sometimes those mutations make it easier to infect us are potentially even more dangerous. And we're seeing different variants pop up, for instance, in South America and in India, and they, those are now spreading throughout the world and infecting people in different populations. And we're seeing that, for the most part, the vaccine that we are currently delivering as far as the Moderna, the Pfizer, and the Johnson does seem to play some protective role against even these variants that we're seeing right now. It's definitely shown to be slightly less effective for some of these variants. However, it does seem to still protect protect you from having super um, severe infections that might require hospitalization or intubations. And so we still are recommending the vaccinations because even against these variants, it shows to help to protect patients and potentially even be a life-saving preventative measure. Just to kind of put it all in wraps and, and tie a nice bow on it, um, we are formally recommending vaccination um, in all people um, over the age of 18. And that vaccination, that recommendation includes patients that are um, about to get pregnant, 
potentially could become pregnant, that are pregnant, that have recently been pregnant and are breastfeeding. Um, because we know how serious this pandemic is and we know that our patients in those risk categories potentially could have severe outcomes from COVID. And we know that the vaccination, even with the new variants, it has protective um, nature against keeping people out of the hospital and having those severe outcomes. So our formal recommendations is and will continue to be um, that we recommend vaccinations. And as far as the specific type of vaccination, generally we're saying get whatever vaccination is available to you. Understanding that, however, that there are some specific um, patient populations that one vaccination might be better than the next. And when you need individualized care and you have individual questions, we urge you to please talk with your women's care provider. And we're gonna be able to um, essentially determine what risks you have and what vaccination would be best for you.